Hello everyone, my name is Sonate Jago. I am from California State University, Los Angeles. Now I am here to explain a project which we did in one of my master courses. Here you can see the title of this project. It's ancient stone cutting using a rope pulley. By observing this title only you can understand that the concept of this project is to design a machine which was used in ancient times. Interaction. See, compared to this modern world, there is no much technology in the past part, but they have but they have designed many tools for their survival, like for preparing food, for preparing their shelters, and for preparing their safety. So, uh, the same situation has to continue in constructing the pyramids and cutting the stones also, because they don't have any great machines at that time. But they have built up many basic machines with what resources they have. So, from those innovations, here we are introducing a project um, here. See, uh, apart from area discussion, you all may get it out that why they are, uh, why they have cut the stones and what is the purpose for their cutting the stones, right? So, uh, it is, the answer of this is very simple because they have cut in, they have cut the stones for constructing the pyramids. Then you may get it in this big question. Here you can see the big question. Here, is one. Here you can see the big question. How was the great ancient stones were used in the construction of pyramids to build and Left. And this is the big question. This is not a big question to all of us actually. It's a big question to all of our generation because we don't know anything about the ancient times, right? But if you search in the net, you get a lot of theories about this ancient times. Fortunately, there is a group for uh, uh, Egyptians. They were built at the uh, pyramids, but unfortunately, there is no proof for many theories um, about the, about this ancient times. Here you can see an example of one great pyramid then you can understand how they have constructed the pyramids and how hard it is. This is the great one of the greatest pyramid in the past, the Great Pyramid of Giza, which was uh, built in the past, uh, which was in the height of 480 feet in height and um, approximately 13 acres in area. They constructed this uh, for 23 years um, and they have polished, quarried and uh, smoothed each of the block for every two minutes. So it took a lot of time of 23 years to complete this and the process of lifting the stones while they are constructing the pyramids also a difficult the task. See if they the, while they are constructing the pyramids if they if any stone is gonna be fall down it's gonna be a death of many people. So it's not at all an easy task. This is a background information. We are also came into this project with a zero percent of knowledge. But uh, we did a lot of research on online. We read many books and articles which uh, wrote on the, uh, which wrote on the ancient times, and especially the lectures which what are given by my lecturer, Dr. Zanzi, are very helpful. Has a lot to do this project. That's one hypothesis. I already told you that the main intention, the main purpose of this project is to design an ancient machine which was used in the past for cutting the stones in our desired manner. Here you can see the overview of this project. And coming to the experiment, here you can see that this is the working prototype of this project. This is the circular blade and this is the vertical blade. These two blades are designed for cutting the stones on two sides. And this is a rope pulley designed for rotating these two blades. And the motor we are using uh, here, the motor we are, he, we use this for giving energy to the rope pulley. Here you can see how it works. This is the battery. I'm giving the connection to the motor. Then it's going to be rotated. Here I'm connecting this. Here you can see. It's going to be rotated like this. Then the stone will be cut here and here also. And the front side here is mm, designed for mm, placing the stones. Uh, the lifting of stones is also a difficult task, right? So those grips are arranged for rolling the stones very easily to move in front of the circular plate. So this is the working prototype of this project. In conclusion, thus the process of cutting the stones using two rotational blades has been verified. And one more thing, I would like to conclude that the process of cutting the stones is not at all an easy task. And here, uh, as a result of this research and this project, I came to know three new factors. In this, in those, the first one is uh, the construction of the pyramids and the cutting of stones is not at all an easy task with the handmade and basic uh, basic missions but the people who are in the who are in past did very easily and the second one is those constructions are very dangerous because while constructing any pyramid 
if any stone gonna be fall down, it's gonna be a death of many people. So it's very dangerous. And the, the last one, but not least, is that based upon the ancient theories only, the technologies were developed through which everyone leading their life comfortably in this modern world. So here is our presentation about the ancient technology. So thank you so much for that.